my name is Mary and I also go by the Healing Cave Lady. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm doing little mini videos on what to do for things and I'm calling the series, What Would the Cave Lady Do? Because I get emails all the time saying, what would you do for this and what would you do for that? And I wanted to do quick little videos for what you would do for certain things. So today's video is going to be titled, What Would the Cave Lady Do for a cold or an itchy throat like my protocol like what i normally would do um so because there's a long list of things i would do i wanted to incorporate as many of the things that i would do as possible so you can choose what seems right for you i'm going to start with hydration of course so lots and lots and lots of beverages you want to make sure things are flowing out of your body and nothing becomes stagnant so lots of water always use filtered water because if it's not filtered your body becomes a filter and then it becomes a toxic burden heavy metals okay always make sure you have filtered water is one. So um, the next thing would be like lots of ginger tea. I do have my ginger tea video recipe, but ginger is an anti-inflammatory and it's soothing, raw honey, lemon. You could add a pinch of cayenne pepper if you wanted to just for that extra antibacterial kick. I have my apple cider vinegar drink, which is amazing because the apple cider vinegar is very combative to any kind of bacteria or viruses and things like that that could be lurking in the throat nasal region so you can even make that apple cider vinegar drink stronger and gargle with it so gargling with apple cider vinegar salt water and things like that those are great because they're just antibacterial antimicrobial kill all those things and those type of beverages are great always avoid um, dairy I would say just cut it completely out if you feel anything coming on dairy is going to increase the mucus it's going to make everything thicker it's going to th keep things hanging around and it's going to cause extra congestion so if there is dairy going on at all if you feel like you're coming down with something and you're getting you know nasal congestion cut out the dairy it out right away you can you can you can bring it back on later if you're you know feeling better but just take it out during the sickness period. So essential oil wise. So uh, if I was gonna do essential oils for the sore throat, itchy stuff, the first thing I would do is make sure I'm getting a ton of hydration in my sleep space and everywhere I'm going throughout the day. Because if you keep everything hydrated, everything can be flowing. You're not trapping anything in the passageways. So they get trapped in there and you end up with a sinus infection. So very important to keep things moving. I suggest the huge diffusers. These are the diffusers that you don't smell a ton of the oil. It's like you're getting tons of hydration in the air. But the reason I do these over humidifiers is because they're both cool mist, but these are easier to clean oils too to keep all the bacteria killed in the air as well. So you're not gonna get a huge scent payoff when you're using your therapeutic essential oils, but you're still getting the therapeutic benefits, but you're getting not only tons of water in the air, but it's killing the bacteria, viruses, mold, and activating your immune system. So I suggest those huge diffusers, the ones that are like, you know, 800 milliliters. I think this is a 800 or a thousand milliliter tank. The link below for this one that I really like, it's humongous. And this, I only break out when there's a cold or a flu or if one of the kids are coming down with a cough or something, because it's gonna get so much hydration in the air and it's gonna help with that coughing so quickly. So this, and the essential oils that I personally would use, um, I like to make a blend and it's a thieves-like blend. Um, this one is the version that Mountain Rose Herbs has on their website called Four Thieves. And this protocol that I'm talking about right now, is available for free for you to print out on my website. If you go to healingcavelady.com and click on the nutritional therapy tab, scroll all the way to the bottom, it'll there'll be a button and it'll say healing protocol for or protocol for itchy throats or whatever. This off so that you have it on hand and it has this recipe on it. So you make the recipe. I use the Florahana essential oils because I love them. They're all organic. They're amazing. They're one of my favorite brands. I make this recipe and I keep it in an amber bottle. And then I also have a re that same recipe diluted in from the same company that I get the Florahana Tropical Traditions. I get this massage oil. So this is the recipe, 40 drops of clove bud, 35, I, I wrote clove bug. <laughs> if you go to my website, it says clove bug. Um, 35 drops of lemon, 20 drops of cinnamon essential oils, 15 drops of eucalyptus, and 10 drops of rosemary essential oil. You can also opt to put in a couple drops of tea tree as well. Very, very anti 
antimicrobial, antibacterial, antiviral. So in a, and you keep it in an amber bottle, like I always have an extra empty bottle, put it all in there. And now that is your diffuser oil, okay? So you can take that strong oil and you can add it to a carrier oil. And I have the recipe on how to make it for a one, 2% dilution. And you take a little bit of this oil and you add the drops to that oil. And this is what you can massage. You can massage it directly on the neck area. You can massage it on your chest. You can put on your feet bottoms. You can add a little bit to the bathtub and the immune system and putting it directly on here, your body absorbs a percentage of it as well. So if you're massaging it on your neck, you feel like your neck's itchy, you know, the essential oils in that is are going to absorb through the body. And it is at a low enough dilution. If you use the recipe that's on my website, cause any issues and do a patch test. It's a very small dilution. So even though there's cinnamon in it and it's going to be touching the skin, it's a very small dilution and it is safe for skin. So you can do a little patch test to make sure you're okay but rub it on the chest rub it on the area also do um, this exact same recipe and instead of using clove you can do peppermint so it's kind of paper rub so exactly the same recipe uh, and change that to peppermint okay the next thing that is so important this is so 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 important if you feel an itchy throat coming on if you feel something you're coming down with nasal rinsing this is a lifesaver all ages can do this. All ages can do this. If you're doing it on young children, you're gonna to wanna to use a nose Frida to make sure you're sucking everything out. But if you're a grown ass person, you can just blow it out. So you're gonna take your, I like the Sovereign Silver brand, Nasal Mist. I have these in my office for sale. Um, it's much cheaper than Whole Foods. <laughs> and you, every night, I mean, every time you go to the restroom, I'd say, put one of these in the bathroom, put one of them in the shower. So you mist, 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 you know, five to 10 squirts on each nose, blow it all out, and then spray one in each side. That one in each side kills everything that's up there and it keeps everything moist so that things can continue to, to drain out. You do not want things draining back into your sinuses that causes the sinus infection. So leaving, spraying that one up on each side at the end, spray on each side is what is going to actively kill because that colloidal silver will kill everything it comes in contact with and the, the amount that you're leaving up there is allowing everything to stay wet. So if there's active infection going on or active infection starting, it's gonna kill it and help it drain out the nose. You want everything to drain out the nose. That's also why you wanna sleep on your stomach. You don't wanna sleep on your back. So things are draining back into you, you want them to drain outward. So it's very, very important. And I say, if you're coming down with something, nasal spray like it's your job, try to kill that whole bottle off. That would be the goal, you know? Every time you go to the bathroom, spray, 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 spray. When you, when you take a shower, spray, spray, spray. Also, it's so important to get steam open and not letting anything get shut down. We don't want any, it's not drying. We don't want anything getting closed. So you end up with your infection going back into your body. You want everything to get out of your body and you want to kill everything. Down with them, something is so important to get good, good, good sleep. It is so important that is when your body is doing most of the fighting work. During the day, you're emitting so much energy into digestion and food and things like that. That's why it's really great to add a digestive enzyme or something like that, just to give your body that extra energy it needs to fight infection. So take a digestive enzyme. I have this in my office. This is hands down the best digestive enzyme on the market. Doing a lot of the fighting. So getting deep sleep is so important. I am absolutely obsessed with this Canabrix uh, CBD because not only does it help you get such great sleep, it relaxes you so much that it takes your mind off the fact that your throat is itchy. Cause you know when you wake up and your throat is itchy, it's so hard to sleep. I give this to my kids when they're come down with anything and knocks them right out. Not only that, like I swear the coughing just goes away. It's like, it's, it's such an instant cure for me. So I take two milligrams. I give my kids two milligrams. Um, the serving size on here, it says is six milligrams. So you can kind of play with the dosing. I also have a dosing thing on my website. If you decide to get the can of bricks, I do sell this on my website, a few things personally, but this one was, it's really hard to find. It's really hard to find. Absolutely amazing. I've tried about seven different CBD products and this one works by far the best for me and my family and it has zero THC so I don't have to worry about any of that. So it's absolutely phenomenal. I can't even, I don't even know what I'd do without it if I was sick. Like same with my kids. Like if my kids get a headache at night or something's going on at night, I give them this, it just knocks them out. You don't have to worry about um, giving them something dangerous to like ease the pain. You just give them something that gets them to sleep and then they can sleep hard and they can heal. So it's Fantastic. Um, the other thing that's a great product is uh, doing something like black elderberry. This one is called um, black elderberry liquid. 
which is basically like a syrup. Um, black elderberry is amazing for the immune system. It's amazing for flus, colds, viruses. It really, really works well. Um, this is a 10 to one concentrate. Um, I always suggest upping your vitamin C. I like using real vitamin C. Um, Garden of Life makes raw vitamin C. Uh, they also make raw zinc, and both of these are great. I say if you're taking um, vitamin C, take about 2,000 milligrams a day instead of like the 500 dose so zinc anytime possible. Some people have issues with taking zinc because it's like hard on their stomach, but um, the vitamin code Garden of Life zinc is amazing. I'll put the, um, I'll put the links to these products in the description box because they're amazing. Calm uh, to help, you know, the magnesium helps you sleep, keeps things moving out of the body. And then um, always taking a probiotic, so important, you're fighting bad bacteria, you need to take good bacteria. Hands down favorite probiotic is Genestra, HMF powder, human probiotics, bioidentical, lives through the stomach acid. Um, you, It's a powder, so you're actually putting it in your mouth. Tastes like cotton candy. Um, it's populating the mouth, throat, nose area at night. So I say take a scoop after you brush your teeth. Let it populate the mouth and nose area. Let it fight and do the work for you. So this is where you want them. Even though when you swallow some water, it's gonna go all the way down and, and live all the way down to your intestinal tract. It's also actively fighting in the mouth. And that's why I love powdered probiotics. I love them. I, I like to take a pill once in a while, especially an enteric coated pill or take like one of Dr. Mercola's. Um, but this is my favorite hands down probiotic on the market. Um, I love buying probiotics from companies that do probiotics. Scoop of that to um, three times a day if you want to. Things start to go south. If you're starting to feel really, really crappy, and you're like, oh, I don't wanna have to take antibiotics, but I wanna do something in the meantime to kill some of the stuff. Um, Protocol for Life Balance makes a company, makes a uh, product called Abiotic. Abiotic basically is an antibiotic, but it's all natural. So olive leaf extract, garlic extract, oregano oil, larch tree extract and rosemary oil. So these actively kill uh, bacteria kind of like an antibiotic would, but it's not so harsh on the gut. So um, amazing product. So uh, you take once off gel two times a daily or by your healthcare professional and making sure you're doing the, the biotic, you know, the probiotics as well. You wanna make sure you're replacing, cause this will also kill good bacteria as well and bad bacteria. So you wanna make sure you're replacing good bacteria. It's so important to take your probiotics. This is on the protocol, by the way. That's on here that you can print out on my website. So always consider lots of steam room, lots of sauna, anything to clear that lymphatic system out because your body's, as your body kills things off, um, anything that dies in your body sets off more toxins than when it's alive. So if you're actively killing strep bacteria, it's gonna set off more toxins and your body needs to clear it. So sauna and then cold shower, steam room, get everything cleared out. Activating your lymphatic system is gonna help you kick whatever's going on quicker. So um, other boost immune boosters that I love, immune boosters, immune boosters that I love, there's um, oxalcoxlinum and turmeric supplements are great too. Anything that's anti-inflammatory that just takes the inflammation down and drinking ginger tea with raw honey and lemon not only feels good, but it's giving you that great antibacterial quality that's in the raw honey and then the um, soothing of the ginger and it's relaxing. Um, there's also lots of honey products that you can spray like propolis sprays for your throats and things like that that are very, very antibacterial. So there's all these natural things that you can do to try to avoid having to go the antibiotic route or waiting until it gets to the point where something's so out of control that you have to go that route. My whole plan is always to catch it, nip it in the bud. I mean, immediately, it's good to have these things on hand. Don't wait until you get sick. Don't wait until you're like, oh, I gotta run to the store and they're out of this. Or, you know, a lot of places don't carry this um, silver nasal spray or they'll be sold out of the black elderberry syrup or you won't have your CBD. And this is very, like I said, very hard. I had to, I remember having to drive to four different dispensaries to find this, but I have it for everybody because I can't even believe how much it helps you sleep. It is freaking phenomenal, Cannabrix, the CBD. So, and I'm gonna try to do lots of these little videos so that anything that you come down with or you would know what the cave lady would do. So thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. You can keep in the fridge and you can add to your water all day so you start by picking your flavor like this one's gonna be peach mango so I'm gonna do the organic stevia sweet leaf water drop juice make sure it's not lemonade 
and then um, organic apple cider vinegar. You can use Bragg. This I got at Costco in a two pack for $5.99. So you are going to mix half apple cider vinegar, just eyeball it, half lemon juice, and you're gonna take a healthy squeeze of the water drops. This is just gonna sweeten it. And you put a lid on there like so, and you just put a splash in your water every day and it tastes just like flavored.